Hey guys, my name is Phantom, and I am taking a look at Elite Dangerous 2.2 Guardians. First off, I have to admit that launching from the mothership is pretty damn satisfying. Although the communications beep doesn't make that really weird sound. I mean, it almost sounds like a squirrel in your cockpit. I feel like it's gonna jump at me and bite my throat at some point. No, seriously, try to listen just after the enemy ship gets destroyed. Now that's a squirrel. Or it could be Sandro Samarco's space loach. I don't really know. Anyway, I also spent some time in the new Taipan fighter, which is really, really sluggish. In fact, it was so sluggish at some point I... well, I, I died. It's actually the, the only fighter in which I died. Well, technically you don't die because of the whole telepresence thing. Which, by the way, is a bit silly at the moment, because as a head-tracking user, when I look down, I can see my arms and my body, despite the fact that you're supposed to be in a remote link to the fighter. They really just should remove the model. I mean, you could make it like, well, like any other first-person shooter nowadays. You're a floating camera with no body. Or, more accurately, you're a floating camera with arms attached to it, and nothing else. Which would look absolutely silly if you just looked down and all you saw is arms and nobody. But back to the fighter gameplay. I had the most fun playing around in the Imperial Fighter, which is the most maneuverable one. The only thing about it that I didn't like is that it has some pretty wonky collision physics at the moment. We'll see in a second. That, by the way, goes on for quite a bit. You can even see that flight assist is on, so by all measures the ship should be stabilizing itself. Normally I would just use engine boost, which does give extra power to your maneuvering thrusters to help level you out, but I wanted to see how long it would actually take without it. Squirrel! Clear commander, target's down. That's it for this Elite Dangerous 2.2 beta video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.